Okay, so we got all of our parts done. We got our little tricks done for the UFO here. And the next thing we should do is uh, we're going to assemble all these parts now together and make it a whole piece. So we're going to go into new here. Uh, we're going to go into a standard assembly. You can see that right there. I'm going to go and click on that and create that. And within this assembly, we're going to place our parts from our, well, part files. So we're going to go with the wing. And right click and OK. And I'm also going to place, let's start with a rough. OK. So uh, you can see I got this here, and I kind of want it to be right there in that spot. So if we go into constraints, this is kind of how we put stuff together, is all these options. So this is like a mate, which is kind of puts them to, like this way. It's just two parts kind of landing in together or put some flush together like this. Okay, we also have kind of like an angle um, assembly constraint. Tangent, if you're putting like the circles together or on, around each other. An insert, which actually puts two things um, into each other. And also um, this constraint here as well. So there, you could actually constrain things to move together. Um, and really, this is a helpful where we're putting things together in the assembly here. So we're actually going to be using the mate tool. I'm going to just kind of roll up here and grab this face there. And I will grab that face down below. Okay, I'm going to apply that one. Let's place in the gun here. One, two. Tell me we need. So we go constrain. We're gonna use the insert tool here. We're go on the inner side of the circle, and the make sure you're going into the not this circle here, but that one right there. This round, I still got a little bit of ways to go here. So I'm going to go constrain mate. That face. This face. Press OK. And it's fully constrained, they stay together. Now for this one, I'm actually going to choose a joint. Make sure you're going to the back portion here. You should be okay. And you can see that's stuck together too. So joint kind of takes a care of those two steps in one. So it's kind of a nice little feature. All right, so we're done with the lasers. Okay, so I'm going to go into joint now for the rough. I'm going to click where that's placed. Click right there like that, get that green line. And I want to go, make sure you click the right thing here. So I'm going to go, I want actually this edge here, that face. I'm going to click that and press OK. And you can see, now this is the true test of everything's assembled. You should be able to grab one piece and it all moves together like so okay so actually it took just a little bit but a couple of uh, features constraints and joints to kind of show you how to put stuff together is a kind of a neat little thing to know and will definitely be useful in your future when you're putting a lot of parts together to make a full piece um, I want to show you a couple other cool things that we can do uh, if you have time But first, we've got to make sure we're going to save this here. And you could call this the assembled UFO. All right, make sure it's in your folder. Mine's in my spaceship folder there. And if you go yes to all, usually 
it will accept everything. You just press OK a bunch of times. It generally is all OK. So I'm going to go into the I here again. I'm going to go new. This time I'm going to go into a presentation mode. Um, and this is kind of nice. So I can, and it's highlighted my folder here, so that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and tweak the parts. Really, I want the Z. And I have my roof kind of explode up. And what this shows me What this kind of explorer view shows me is how all of this actually goes together. Okay, so the person can kind of see how this goes into there, this goes into there, and that goes into there to create our UFO. So if I clear all that out and close, that's really an exploded view right there. It's nice and easy for us. That's kind of a new feature to have, and that's something worth um, saving there. So assemble UFO, I'll call this the exploded. And you can actually animate where it shows how this goes together. Okay, so that's kind of a cool little feature. And reset it. So another thing I kind of wanted to show you was, is if you go up here, we go into environments and this begin area, I'm actually going to go into Inventor Studio here. You can change a lot of things about this. Uh, I'm going to keep that one though. Lighting styles I might change. You can kind of see it shows you this as you fix it. You know, I wasn't loving that so actually let's go into view up here and visual styles this is going to show you a little bit better of some things you can do like a wire frame uh, I'm not sure quite why you do that one or watercolor makes it look kind of like it was watercolored hand drawn illustration okay and this kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic um, all these things you can kind of change and um, make it look a little more different. So it looks just a little bit more real life and like a finished final product. And this is kind of called rendered. So the last little thing that's bugging me is these two lines. So I'm going to go into this sketch here, visibility. 
And boom, now I don't see those anymore. So go ahead and save that, and that's basically your finished UFO right there.